Cheers, and welcome to Bitter Reality Brewing. Yes, this video is gonna cover a couple different things. First of all, what is in the box? Not just an unboxing, but what is in the box? I've already done an unboxing. Some generic CO2s that you can get that'll save you some money. What has changed that's in the box? And yes, by the way, this is what I call the ugly green one. I think it's kind of cool. You gotta have, I didn't grow up in Miami, I grew up in West Palm, but I partied in Miami. And this kind of color, yeah, you can see it on an entire house, part of a house. It's all about that deco looking colors. And I bought this, that's right. I purchased this to show it to you and to add to the color ones that iGulu has sent me. Because remember, I got the pre-production unit and it had all kinds of little things that I saw and took notice, but it, it did a good job. The CO2 piece didn't work, but that's fine. It's been working ever since on all the new ones. So I'm gonna open this up. And before I open it up so I can get this out of the way, if you need a CO2, I'll leave, yes, it's an affiliate link down below, but I'll leave something that's cheaper and compatible. I just think they put more CO2 in it. It's a lot heavier than my soda stream bottles. Um, same basic thing, comes in pairs. I got uh, recently a six pack. Yeah, I got six of these bad boys. So I'm gonna set this back up there, it's called Great Whip. You can get those on Amazon. Now, yes, I have an amazing discount on this. They just started selling these on Amazon. I have an affiliate link for Amazon. No, you're not gonna get that type of deal, at least not right now on Amazon. So if you really want an amazing, amazing deal, you need to order direct through iGulu. If you just feel more confident ordering on Amazon, go for it. It's on there. You're not gonna, like I said, save a lot of money right now. The discounts that I'll offer you are, of course, on iGulu's website. Now, <laughs> it is 10, 24, October, 24th of 2024. Sorry, I'm bad with time and days. So, and it's 737 if you really need to know, PM. <laughs> I wanna tell you everything that's currently coming in the box, because I keep hearing mixed stories from people that haven't actually bought one. And I wanna make sure everybody knows exactly what comes in the box, okay? First of all, when I went to break the seal, that's when I went, ooh, I should probably show it people. I almost lost something. It was in the other box, and because of the way I opened it, I didn't see it, and I almost threw it away. Luckily, I break down all my boxes. Yeah, a lot of people have been saying that you need the master, oops, the master mode card separately. It was in the box. It was in a separate box. So this came in like three boxes, Amazon, an iGulu brown box, and then this box. And it was in between this box and the brown box, and if I had not opened up the top, I just cut the bottom and I was pulling it off, I wouldn't have seen this, so luckily I break my boxes down. But yeah, this will cost you a hundred bucks if you need one, because you threw it away. So be careful. <laughs> that lets you program it and set up anything. And here's what it looks like. And all you do is after you do it, you hold it by the QR thing, it'll scan, and instantly you've unlocked everything. Okay, so I'm gonna open this, and I'm gonna go over every little piece, and I'm gonna take it out and show you. So first on the top, we're gonna pull that out. That's styrofoam, and it's got a bunch of little things inside of it. And let's see if we can get this off. Not sure why I made that hard. Not sure why I made that hard because uh, I gotta set this down to pull it out anyways. So not a big deal, no special magic. Just don't wanna hurt myself or break anything. So you're gonna get a packet, okay? This packet has definitely changed. It looks a little different. It may have some additional information in here. I also took notice to something that they changed and I think they're doing it to help new brewers or people who've never brewed beer or done anything with beer before. Okay, actually I do I think I've seen this before. Stick it, scan it, order. This, and it can save up to 10% on beer kits. Use my code, trust me, just use my code. There's a nice little sticker you can put on it to remind you so you can scan and buy. I don't usually order things on my phone, I use my computer. You have a nice igloo, igloo, <laughs> igloo F1 manual. <coughs> and the manual goes over a lot of details. Also, since we're on the subject of iGulu F1, you've seen that I believe it's the S1 that right now is a kind of a, a funding, you have to fund it and, okay. This has some better features. That's why the price difference is so considerable. You get a lot more in here for not much more. I know it seems like a lot more, but the, the technology's there. <coughs> you have the quick, hey, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't understand what all this stuff is. And I just want to put a local keg in here. I don't want to go out and, you know, brew some beer or something. So you have the AS dispenser and it shows you exactly how to connect it to a five liter keg. They also have an AT dispenser and I'll show those to you. So here's the AS dispenser 
and it comes, so you want to clean everything, just even if it's closed up, it's just the way it is. You wouldn't buy a fork and then not clean it, you know, a bunch of new silverware. So this is to go into pre-purchased kegs that you buy at your local bottle shop. We have a, this is, I always am blown away that they don't ship a cheap plastic one like everybody else. This thing is like, I don't know if it's ceramic or what, but it's the tap handle and it is, I mean, it's got some weight to it. Let's weigh it. I mean, you, I know you look at me like I'm crazy, but that's 5.7, that's almost six ounces. And then for our non-US people, that is 164 grams. That's a solid, I mean, that's heavier than any tap handle I currently own. Just saying. Uh, everything's packed super tight. That's your power supply. It's like a little power brick right here. All it is. <laughs> also, the auto resume on these things is amazing now. I moved this over here. I didn't even have to say yes. It auto resumed, chilling the beer is all good. Um, I've had a fermentation go off, come back and start right where it left off. It doesn't try to restart. It's just awesome. Um, these are a lot of major improvements that have been done to the software on the system that were not in the initial releases. Okay, over here, because we've got the black, you're gonna get the orange and black. On the white one, you get the white or cream with the red. And then on this, you get the black with the, I call it mint green. It's like mint green, okay? And I know a lot of you are going, ooh. It's not for everybody. I know that color is not for everybody, but if you want something to stand out and be unique, that's it. Or if you're into a very retro looking house with you know the retro stuff, I do have a, a kind of a retro fridge, just a little red one. You got a green fridge, this would work for you. And I'm not done, there's more stuff in here. That has been changed, okay? So let's take the plastic off. Be very careful lifting this out. And the reason I say that is that this has a CO2 piece and I haven't heard of anybody breaking it. I haven't had a problem, but they tell you not to pick it up by the piece. Don't hold the weight there. You know, put your hand under it, cradle it like you would a small child or something that you value. You know what I'm saying? So first we'll put this on right away so we don't forget. Nice, solid tap handle. Okay, this is where things have changed other than the green and black. I, I thought it was kind of crazy and I'm liking it more and more as I look at it. It's not me going, oh, this is crazy. This is cool, yeah. Okay, this is not something I saw in the first one and I don't remember the second one, but they had the, the tap, the tube already pre-connected to the keg. I think this is to show newbies, sorry if you're a newbie, but how and where it should be installed. So if you're like, the typical guy and don't read the instructions, well, you, you, you kind of got to show me. They already showed me exactly how it was. And yes, my mom was from Missouri, so sometimes you got to show me. So yeah, that's it. It's just kind of there to show you how it goes in. Now, another bonus, <coughs> we had some people complaining. That's right, I didn't have this problem, but some people were saying they went way over 24 PSI and things were over carbonated. They also said, hey, you know, I don't care what kind of yeast you're using, which there are yeasts that can tolerate it. Now, at the higher pressure, you may get a little bit more accentuate or accentuated, accent, whatever. You're gonna get more <laughs> bitter. And some other things from certain yeasts from some tests that I've seen out on like brew your own and stuff, but they're not conclusive. There's just been a couple tests. So it could change or alter the perception that you're gonna taste the beer or whatever you're drinking, especially if it had hops and stuff like that. Well, hey. They fixed it a while back. They went to a 24, making sure it was at least 24 or less. So the PRB will not go over 24. So for the few people I saw out there saying they were hitting 36 on YouTube, uh, yeah, 24. How do I know? There's a difference, okay? You pop this little C-clamp off. Remember the C-clamp has a little hook on it to protect you. So you gotta push everything down. If you can't, you release, push down, it'll come off. Don't force it, okay? This does two things. One, you shouldn't need this thing anymore, which was for to wedge it, because some idiots like me 
tried to get their fingers under there and almost pulled your fingernails apart. Yeah, it would not have been good to peel my fingernail off, but I got close. But I'm gonna show you how you know if you have the newer lid. The newer lid has the lower PRV or lower CO2 release on the PRV. There's little notches. There's, so instead of going all the way around, there's notches, there's two of them. And those notches tell you it's the new lid with the new PRV, and that also lets you get your fingers under it so you can get some lift and pull it out. Yeah. Other thing is, is if you have a problem putting this in, you just put a little bit of, you know, make sure your hands are super clean, everything's nice and sanitized, but there's an O-ring which will come in there and that O-ring goes on here, make sure the O-ring's on, otherwise it's gonna set in there. But when you do that, make sure it's a little wet and it'll slide right in, a lot easier, okay? So we'll get some of this plastic out of the way. There's a few more things in here. Also, you can't do this on Amazon yet. So another reason to buy direct from iGulu is I highly, highly recommend a spare keg. Trust me, the day you go, I need an extra keg and you're not gonna have one, okay? You're just not because you didn't, you didn't listen. You kind of like my kids when I tell them to do something and they don't listen. Someone else tells them and they go, okay, I guess I should do that. <sighs> yeah. Okay, you get a spare O-ring. That's something newer on the first few, did not get a spare O-ring. This was plastic on some of the earlier editions. This is not plastic anymore. Doesn't feel, oh, and actually, there you go. Yeah, it's, it's steel, stainless steel. And there's your little tube. Everything comes through the tube. It doesn't actually go through here. So, but you can take it apart if you want to and clean it. And it just pops in and pops off, okay? That's something to be aware of. It's changed. Let me open this. And we have a few more things. Oh, no way. This is a great change. Great, great change. Okay, so yes, it comes with one of these little wedges that I was showing you. Comes with another coupler for like your Heineken. Yeah, okay. And hey, this is awesome. I love this. This has just got me really excited. Did not know this. Comes with a spare liquid hose. This is amazing. for two reasons, okay? One, you have a spare. Two, when you buy an extra keg, it will come with an extra one of these, okay? Now you're not gonna have an extra two because here's what I'm gonna have you do. You'll have an extra hose. Take this off, get it really, really hot, not boiling, but hot, hot water, let it soak, and it should come off, okay? Then take it, take it to the other one that looks just like it. I would leave this on, just in case, just leave it on and put the other black coupler on the other end, heat it up in very hot water, push it on. You'll have a jumper. It'll have a liquid on both ends. And guess what? On the liquid on both ends, helps you transfer from keg to keg. Yeah, so you don't have to buy an extra one. It comes with it. This is awesome, just beyond awesome. Another little trick that a lot of people don't realize is let's say you wanna flush this, right? Did you know the air plugs into the liquid side? and it can flush this out. Clean it, clear it. Would be careful at how you use that, but if you put it as a jumper where you have the same black connector for the keg on both ends, you can now go like this and easily purge that keg without having to take the keg out, put one in here, purge it, take it back out here. Yeah, the air and the liquid are male and female, so they connect. It's one of the coolest things I didn't, realize right away, but it's just a really cool little feature to be aware of because it can benefit you, especially if you're doing IPAs, you're gonna need that to move stuff from keg to keg so you have a nice clear keg. You leave all the trub behind, go clean that keg and get it ready for your next beer. So just saying. But yeah, I'm very excited. Um, I'm gonna be doing some things where I do these. I've already done one at one event and I have some other events planned. I have a big Halloween event planned. I'm gonna have three of these bad boys serving beer to the local public for free. Yeah, I know, you're like, what, what? Yeah, I'm very excited. So like I said, I have a really, really nice discount below. Check it out, what you do, even if you're not looking to buy one right now, you just put them in your cart, you're not checking out, just put them in your cart, go to checkout, throw the discount code in there. Yeah, nice, huh? Very nice. And don't forget, get an extra keg. Unless you're getting two of these and you're just gonna do one and keep it as a spare, yeah. The extra keg is huge. Even in regular home brewing and five gallon batches, you need extra kegs. Anybody will tell you that. So hopefully that helps. To told you everything that comes in the box now, some of the things that have changed. Software has been a major upgrade. Um, I haven't been playing with the phone app. I haven't heard that's been updated yet. I know they were working on that. It may be 
brilliant, but I haven't. I've just been doing everything else and there's so much you can do right on here. Cheers, I appreciate you. Go check it out. This is the new iGulu. Remember it comes in a cream, black, and I know some of you are like awesome mint and other ones are like, yeah. It's a Miami, to me it's a Miami thing. I grew up partying in Miami, it's a Miami thing, but it's pretty cool, especially if you like vintage and you like things that look vintage. So, cheers, appreciate you, thank you.